Last night, families all over the world gathered around the table to celebrate centuries of tradition. The rich and unique flavors of Passover have been passed down for generations. And in Pittsburgh, many places are exploring the cultural significance with a culinary adventure. And one of those places is Food for Thought Deli in Oakland. Owner Bob Wazerman is here with Chef Luis to guide us through putting together a Passover meal. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Okay. Well, Luis is going to make some mutsy balls and you're going to help roll them. Now that's a big key to this. When people make mutsy balls, they don't realize there's three steps that are so important. First of all, we already have it mixed, but he would have, he would put two eggs, some olive oil in, in the mix, and then you take that mix and you put it in the refrigerator for at least 15 minutes mm -hmm. to get hard. Okay, because I've heard you can make them and then they fall apart. That's exactly why okay. they do fall apart. All the right. most important part is what you're going to do is you're going to roll them. And if oh. you don't roll them right, they're going to fall apart. So you're oh. trusting us to do this? Well, I mean, yeah, we're going <laughs> to trust you. Yeah, I mean, and you know. Chef but Louise it, said to put a little bit of oil on our hands, on okay. our gloves here, so that it doesn't stick, right? Right. So, now, Louise is using a two-ounce scoop. You can use whatever size scoop you want because it okay. makes the ball bigger. But remember, they blow up. So they blow up. So this will become a three- okay. to four-ounce ball. Okay. So, all right, and so this rolling it, just roll it like, keep rolling it in your hands real well. Chef, That's the key. A, a trick, like, how long do we do this, Chef? Do you want it to just be really compact? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So we're just rolling this. Let's quiet this. Oh, you know okay. what you're doing. Okay. Oh, yeah, you've got like, well, he's this made quite a technique few that we don't have. Yeah, he's made quite a few. <laughs> he's made about 700 yours of them. Are, so yours okay. are perfect. Use your, your fingers. Use like your fingers. Use your fingers. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. I think they might have how does, it. How does, how does this? It's good. Perfect. It's good. Okay. Right. Okay. That's perfect. Thumbs up. And, then, and then you put them in here. Okay. 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 And you you let them cook for about 15 minutes. But the trick to this is also when you cook them after the water boils, you have to move them around because they float to the top. And this way they're not fully cook cooked. And a lot of people I get see. their monkey balls in the center and they're raw. But you keep moving them around a good 15 minutes and then take them out. You know, and this is what you get. We have some back there. That's great. Oh, we get some beautiful oh my gosh, matzo balls. Really wow! Great. Look at that. That's Look at what, these. You get, okay. some, you get, you know. Beautiful. And you have the soup right over there. Here's right? the soup. So a lot of people put the soup and the matzo balls in it. The warm. You know, I don't like to do that because I think it breaks down the matzo ball and it falls apart a little bit. Okay. So we warm the matzo balls up separate, but you put the soup, put the matzo ball in. Oh, how have a lovely! Have cracker, matzo ball cracker with it, and you're okay. good to go. And that's that's when, when you talk about these balls. They're made from that. that it's crack? a matzo mill that's okay. in there. Matzo mill is is matzo. Yeah, that's great. It's the unleavened okay. bread. So we have a yeah. huge. We have a big meat piece here. of meat here. Yeah, okay. we have a brisket. We're <laughs> well, gonna... this brisket, this is one of our favorite things to make. Okay. Luis is going to salt and pepper it. Okay. Wait, I can move out of your way too. Yeah. He'll salt and pepper it. Okay. I'll be your assistant. And then we have, a, are these vegetables going in there too? He's not going to go into that. He's going to salt and pepper that. And then he's going to put, he's, uh, my mother's recipe was very simple. Add ketchup to it. What? Oh, Add wow. ketchup to it. That was what? her. I noticed it's and, Heinz ketchup, well, which I mean, in Pittsburgh we love. Yeah, and <laughs> you're going to add, and he's going to coat it with ketchup. Okay. It's a very simple recipe. And then after the ketchup, he's going to add the potatoes and carrots. Okay. And, and are we rubbing this in, or is it? Do we rub this in? In the top. Just on the top. Just put mm -hmm. them on the top. Right on top. Okay. Wow. And then, how long does this have to cook for? I imagine well, this it cooks takes a about while. four hours, four and a half hours. Because mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't cook it, it'll be tough. And now he adds a cup of water to the bottom. And so whenever this comes out after four and a half hours, and you have one in there already, which is yes. very exciting. I can't uh, wait to see I it. I mean, I'm assuming Ooh. this is like one of those really moist, tender, like wow. It is just delicious. Like you have the gravy. <gasps> oh, look wow. at that. And that's what it you get. beautiful. It really looks so lovely. Uh, now, you were also telling us about this traditional Seder plate here. Right. And it kind of outlines what you need. Out, not exactly what you need on, on the Seder plate. Um, you have all, you have like your bitter herbs, you have your egg, you have um, your greens. Uh, and this is, a, this is what you use during the service yeah. at, at the um, Seder. And well, again, I we imagine have, too, you know, if people didn't want to prepare, they can come to you for help. Well, they have. I mean, we've done quite a few. We've been doing this almost 30 years. Yeah. Um, so we've, we've cooked quite a few. I bet we cooked 
10 or 12 of these whole briskets, probably 700 mutsy balls. Wow. Um, you know, so we're a little tired, but we're good. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's good though, you know, and uh, so, I mean, would, do well, we, would you like to taste the piece? Oh, we would. We, we would. Absolutely would. Absolutely would. You know what? We're r sort of running out of time right now, so maybe we can uh, taste something and we can talk about it at the end of the show. No, not a problem. Yeah, yeah. we're going to slice it. Thank you very this. much for having us. This looks delicious. Thank you for the full spread. We really appreciate it, and, uh, and thanks for coming in today.